In this video, we're going to be covering another Amazon's interview question, uh, string to integer. This is question number 8 uh, on lead code. Uh, essentially, we are trying to create, we are trying to implement this ATOI function of C, C++, which takes a uh, string and converts it to uh, to an integer. Here are all the rules which goes like these that if you have a string which is has a preceding empty spaces just ignore them it can't possibly start with a plus sign a negative sign or uh, without any sign then they're gonna be digits and it can also wherever you see a non alphanumeric not alphanumeric like wherever you see a character which is not a digit like between 0 to 9 uh, you can actually just declare that we're gonna be processing up to that point so you can <coughs> stop parsing uh, the string whenever you see uh, anything other than uh, a digit which is gonna be between 0 to 9 <coughs> Uh, we also need to uh, look into if we uh, if there is a uh, if the digit is gonna be out of range we're gonna be returning the max integer or ma uh, or min integer so again our i is gonna be starting is gonna be parsing uh, start parsing from the leftmost side right and then uh, we're gonna keep going forward so that's gonna be our first step until we see uh, blank or uh, empty spaces so you're gonna stop that loop once you see anything other than uh, an empty space or a space character so once you see that you're gonna look if that is a sign or not so our sign is initially gonna be equal to 1 our total or the result is gonna be equal to 0 and our index as uh, our i is gonna be equal to uh, 0 at the beginning so we are gonna keep uh, incrementing this one right? until we see a digit we're gonna process uh, once we see anything other than an empty space we're gonna say that okay uh, is it a sign or not a sign so we're gonna cover that and after that it's just like uh, whenever you have a character you're gonna say that the total multiplied by 10 plus that character C right and what else and yeah that would be kind of it and every single time you're gonna be uh, keep incrementing this one the only other thing you we need to worry about is if we are in a situation of overflow the way we're gonna deal with it is that we're gonna take our max integer max and then we're gonna be dividing by 10 and we're gonna see that our total is even bigger than that right so even and this is gonna happen before actually we process it so before processing if our total is bigger than the the maximum integer by 10 or the other condition can be that okay it is not bigger but it is equal right <clears throat> so if it is equal uh, to this max by 10 then we have to check for another thing we have to check that that character C uh, that character C is uh, equal or actually that character C is greater than uh, that max modulus of 10 is 
so what is going on here is like you don't need to remember these numbers I don't have them handy here but there is a max integer max value so doing this you in both ways like whether uh, uh, like uh, you don't need to remember the the modulus of that and you can actually just look at the modulus and then if our that uh, if that character is gonna be greater than that that means it is gonna overflow and you don't have to return this answer you can just return uh, the max or the min depending on the sign so let's get into the code we started our index equals to 0 sign equals to 1 and the total equals to 0 here's a sanity check uh, if the length is equal to the strings length is equal to 0 we're gonna be returning 0 the first thing we want to do is to keep processing or keep incrementing the index until uh, we don't see uh, any blank space we don't see the blank spaces anymore keep incrementing index until you stop seeing any preceding blank spaces and just remember that we don't have to worry about the preceding zeros here because the logic we are using of this one that total multiplied by 10 plus C so the preceding zeros is gonna keep the total zero so so that's gonna be taken care of okay the next thing we want to do is that while we are in uh, inbound right uh, we want to check that the first character we actually came across after we removed all the blank spaces is it a plus or a negative sign or not so if it is a plus or a negative sign we're gonna fix our sign making it if it is plus we're gonna make it one if it is negative we're gonna make it minus one uh, yeah and if it is there if it is the case we're gonna inc also increment our index so if there would have been a positive sign in here we would have processed it and moved our i to the next character then there is a while loop uh, basically we want to keep processing until our i is within this range there are a couple of things where 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 if we see those things we're gonna come out of it if we see a different kind of character which is not between 0 to 9 we're gonna come out of this while loop or if we have our result has exceeded the the limit so it cannot be uh, it is not inbound uh, and there's an overflow happen we're gonna be just return it other than that we're gonna keep processing it until our index is gonna uh, become out of bound uh, it's gonna become more than the length of the string every single time we're gonna extract digit by doing s character s dot character at index minus zero that's a very nice way of like changing a character to a digit once we do that we wanna see that is it less than zero or greater than nine meaning maybe it is not even a digit if that is the case we're just gonna break it and return the result multiplied by sign okay otherwise we we need to process uh, that we want to make sure that it won't overflow before actually uh, calculating the total so as I mentioned the first thing is if the total has exceeded e before even processing it if the total is greater than the max integer max uh, divided by 10 it is gonna overflow because we are multiplying total by 10 so we do not have to process it anymore we know that this is the whole answer the total is gonna overflow so we can just return the maximum value multiplied by sign uh, depending on the sign we're gonna be returning the maximum value otherwise uh, this can also be overflow that okay that the total is not greater than this one but it is equal to the max value divided by 10 
but or at the same time the integer dot max modulus of 10 the last uh, character the least significant char character of max uh, integer dot max value it is less than the digit so the digit that's also gonna uh, create an overflow uh, so we can actually just say that uh, we do not need to process it just look at the sign and depending on the sign either return the maximum or the minimum integers value otherwise processing is uh, gonna be like this where the total is equal to 10 multiplied by total plus digit and we're gonna keep incrementing the index oops and in the end we're gonna be returning total uh, multiplied by sign in terms of space complexity we are just saving everything in the total and an index so we do we're not taking any extra space and uh, the space is going to be the constant uh, in terms of the time complexity we are parsing through the string right from left to right only once and we are able to come up uh, with the answer just iterating once so everything yeah it's straightforward so it's uh, the time complexity is gonna be linear uh, yeah it's gonna be O of n where n is the uh, length of the string and that's all I wanted to cover in this video thanks for watching